today we're going to go over uh, a landlord checklist that you can use to pass the HUD inspection that is associated with Section 8 or Plan Ocho. And if you're not familiar with Section 8 or Plan Ocho, that is a subsidized program by HUD to uh, allow uh, people with low income uh, live in homes in good neighborhoods uh, and that the rent that they would normally pay is subsidized by HUD and they pay the landlord directly um, and to allow the tenants to occupy the property. This is brought to you by the Miami Real Estate Investors Association and this is a, a landlord self-inspection checklist. Basically, it's just a series of questions that you have to ask yourself, the landlord, uh, what you need to do to pass inspection. I'm Bob Burns, and that's my picture right there. Uh, the major areas, questions to ask. Uh, you're going to have a major area, like mechanical, whatever, whatever the area is. The, there's, the checklist is broken down into different parts. Um, questions to ask about mechanical items we're going over today uh, the quote you'll have a question ask and then it will be a yes or no answer and then the last column is repairs needed right here mechanical items things that you install to make life easier for your tenants for example electricity electricity this is a service that I put in one of our housing uh, one of our houses uh, brand new service okay which allowed me to install electric stove air conditioning anything electrical major range um, anything major hot water heater electrical hot water heater um, so electricity is important and here's the list the checklist if you guys want to check out the checklist here's the link for that do all fixtures in the outlet now when the head inspector comes he's going to ask are two electrical outlets per room are there two if not is there one outlet and one light fixture per room and here's an outlet here I used with the um, tester is there lighting in common hallways and porches in other words are the hallways and and other areas of the house well lit for protection and you know no tripping falling hazards are the outlets, light switches, and fuse boxes properly covered with no cracks or breaks in the plates or doors? In other words, do you have an exposed uh, electrical receptacle? Now here in this picture here, I have an open spacer in the uh, circuit breaker box, which is dangerous. Kid could stick something in there and get electrocuted. Are the electrical fixtures securely fastened without hanging or exposed wires in areas where the tenant family has access. In other words, you know, you don't want to have wires hanging out of the wall and somebody grabs what the you know, baby comes up and grabs it and gets electrocuted. So they can, they, you know, the HUD inspector will fail you right there for that. And I've heard of crazy things, you know, babies getting choked uh, by electrical cords. Uh, does a unit have a properly working and installed ground fault interrupter or a GFI outlet? And this is a sample of a GFI outlet. See the buttons in the middle? And you can use a tester to test to see if it's properly grounded. A, a pattern of lights will indicate whether it's grounded or not. And that's the tester. It's a three-pronged tester. And it has the patterns here to let you know what's going on with that receptacle. Good for landlords to have. And the next part of your mechanical is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Now in Florida, the heating is not a big deal, but you still have to have heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Uh, short as heck. And in this picture here, I have a handler, a AC handler on the top, and a hot water heater on the bottom. Are all the utilities on the day of the inspection? People, if you don't have the utilities on and the inspector shows up, you fail. You have to have running water and you have to have electricity. 
Is there permanently installed and properly operating heating equipment? Okay, believe it or not, in Miami, you have to have some sort of heating device to warm up the air if we have a surprise cold front that comes in. And a couple people die a year because of it. So make sure you have a proper heating element inside your home. It could be an air conditioner with a heating coil in it. Are the air conditioning units installed? Are they cooling properly? Here is an air conditioner in one of my units. You can tell it's in bad shape. But if it's running, he doesn't care if it's in bad shape. If it's running and it's cooling, that's all they care about. They don't care if it's brand new or whatever. But then in this case, this air conditioner looks pretty bad because you can see the coils corroded. Next, uh, uh, video I'm going to bring to you is the plumbing uh, bathroom kitchen and other and here you have some samples of what we were putting in the bathroom here and this is my wife here showing you one of the kitchens um, so this is the first part of many videos that we'll, we'll be doing about the checklist uh, when you have a HUD inspector coming in and checking out the house for section 8 this is Bob Burns thank you